Good morning students and welcome to another online life science classroom of St. Michael's Academy. So today I am going to start Masood. Let's start. The lentil, lentil is an edible legume. Lens culinaris. Lens culinaris actually is the scientific name of mushroom. It is an annual plant known for its lens shaped seeds. You can see in the diagram this is called lentil of mushroom. This black color one. Follow the laser, you will understand better. <coughs> it is about 40 centimeter or 16 inch tall. And the seeds grow in pods, usually with two seeds in each. What is pods? These are actually pods. Okay? Within one pod, usually two seeds are there. Now characters. Leaves are evenly unipinate. You can see, leaves are evenly unipinate. The ratchets of leaf is ended in a tendril. The rachis, that means this portion, last portion of leaf ended in a tendril. Tendril means this one. Flowers arise in axil. This is the axil portion, flowers arise. Flowers are stocked solitary. You can see only one flower, that's why solitary. Calyx sepals are five tubular. One, two, three and four, five that side like this. Calyx and sepals are uh, five in number and tubular in shape. Corolla petals are five papilionaceous. Already I have discussed this in first chapter. Stamens are ten in number and Didelphus. Didelphus means 9 plus 1. So 9 united and 1 is separate. Fruits are legume. It's legume kind of fruits. That also has been discussed in the previous slides. Long and laterally compressed. You can see the shape of the fruits. This one. Pods. Laterally compressed. Seeds are lenticular. So these are the important characteristics or characters rather you can say of Masu plant. Now parts used. That means what are the important parts of Masu plant that are used actually for our benefits. Masu dal is an important part of the diet in many parts of the world. Especially level of protein by weight of any plant-based food after soybeans and hemp. The seeds are commonly used in soups and stews and are available in a variety of colors. Hope so maximum uh, of you has eaten already masood dal. Actually, um, masood dal is considered is one of the non-veg dal. Actually, there is a comparison between uh, masood dal and onion actually. Okay. And in stews also, generally stew uh, also well, this type of this dal stew also. Hope so you have eaten. Dry leaves, stalks, husks and broken grains are used as cattle fodder. The young plants are used as green manures. For manuring paddy plants. Now see the diagram. This is a picture of Masood Dal. And benefits given. It's good for your heart. It is good for digestion. It reduces the risk of cancer. It promotes weight loss. It's good for your skin. It's good for diabetes. It is rich in proteins and minerals 
it is good for the bones and teeth. So these are the other benefits of masood dal. Hope so you have understood it. If not, you know what to do. Just jot it down the points and ask me in my live class. So thank you students. Enjoy and have a nice day.